If anyone reads my open letter about this on Medium, you may think this is a, a distinction without a difference. But I do see myself as speaking really to Cambridge Press in this case, and by extension to academic institutions of all sorts outside of authoritarian areas, and not speaking so much to China and decrying Chinese censorship, which I obviously think is a bad idea. It's not good for Chinese scholarship and growing the, the importance of Chinese universities globally and so on and so forth. But this particular issue did get me fired up, as you said, because I've seen this kind of thing before in a variety of, of contexts. The academic institutions themselves be they universities, be they publishers, as in the case of Cambridge Press, uh, be they grant agencies, do have a way to do something when these things come up, not simply to, to shrug. And that is to try and find workarounds, try and find ways in which they can help the student or the researcher to carry out some kind of valuable research, maybe not in China, or maybe not using the particular materials or, you know, whatever the case is, but should be actively thinking of ways to do that. And this would not necessarily undermine their own, you know, China engagement. So in, in the case of a publisher like Cambridge Press, obviously to actively acquiesce to cutting your own materials, there should be other ways in which they could handle the situation.